talk about uh, your piece now that's up this morning about James Comer leading the GOP Biden probe, says the headline, insists he's bipartisan as he flirts with higher office. Does he have his eye, perhaps someday, maybe someday soon even, on Senator McConnell's seat? Well, we have to remember that the, James Comer is a, a very ambitious man. He ran for governor uh, back in 2015 in the primary against Matt Bevin, falling just 83 votes shy of winning that primary. Uh, if not for those 83 votes, he very likely could be the sitting governor of Kentucky today. And so that's sort of the backdrop. Uh, I spoke with him before the McConnell episode, and uh, what he told me, you know, I asked specifically, are you interested in running for governor again? Are you interested in running for Mitch McConnell's seat whenever that becomes available? And he would not rule that out. He says, well, I can't predict the future. Uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the future? And so uh, very clearly he is not shutting the door on that. Uh, I spoke with a number of Democrats who know uh, Comer well from his days back in, in Kentucky. And uh, what they told me was he was seen as somebody who uh, was bipartisan, who uh, was pleasant to work with, who reached across the aisle to Democrats to work with them on parochial issues affecting the state of Kentucky, including uh, an effort to legalize uh, industrial hemp which was one of his sort of pet projects. And so um, they said that has all changed, of course, in the, in the wake of his uh, becoming the oversight chairman. And uh, as he has led this investigation into Hunter Biden and the Biden family, James Comer really pushed back on uh, some of these Democrats saying that he had lost his bipartisan touch. He, he rattled off a, a litany of, uh, of record uh, you know, touting his bipartisanship over the years, including uh, saying he wants to work in the future on ethics reform legislation with progressives on his committee, including AOC and Ro Khanna, which was very surprising to me. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see Democrats accepting that he could still be in any kind of bipartisan position after his Hunter Biden investigation. I just don't think they're going to buy that. Can I ask you, just Scott, one more question on, uh, on Mitch McConnell? I mean, who is it? Are, I'm starting here from Republicans a little bit that they're frustrated that they're not getting more information out of the leader about his health conditions. And I was wondering if you're hearing that. And if so, who is it he's talking to? Is it people in Kentucky who would have a better idea of actually what's going on and what his doctors are saying. Yeah, in fact, uh, his, his spokespeople yesterday said that he would consult with a physician, not going so far as to say that he would actually go see a physician. Uh, that was interesting to me. Uh, you know, right now, what we're hearing from senators uh, going back to that previous July episode and, and in this episode is that Mitch McConnell has been uh, ceding some of his responsibility uh, as he has been dealing with some of these health issues. And, and specifically, we may not be seeing that in the public, but behind the scenes in some of these closed door meetings, uh, the weekly lunches that they have on Capitol Hill where they all gather and discuss the week ahead. Uh, he has been ceding some of those uh, responsibilities to folks like John Thune and his top deputy, uh, you know, John Barrasso, uh, when it comes to answering questions about policy from the rest of the GOP conference. And so we're seeing more and more of that. A big question is going to be when they come back next week, will Mitch McConnell, uh, you know, be front and center at their weekly press conference? Will he field questions from the press? There's going to be a lot of questions about his health and whether he can remain uh, leader of, of, uh, of his conference uh, going forward into this Congress. Yeah, those are painful moments to watch. We'll see how things go forward here. NBC News senior congressional reporter Scott Wong. You can read his new piece about James Comer at NBCNews.com. Scott, thanks so much for bringing it to us. We appreciate it.